this is going to be a, an attempt to locate with Maura Murray um, when I do this. I'm trying to put myself in the person's place where they are. So I want to feel what's around. I want to smell if I could smell anything. I want to hear anything that's around. I want to feel how I feel being there. Um, sometimes it gives really good clues of where the person is. So um, with that said, I often make a clock, 12, 3, 6, 9, so that, you know, if their head will be facing towards 12, I can see what's around them. Um, sometimes I'm a little off, like the road might be at 6, but I'm seeing it at 3 or something, or I'm in, my impression is that it's at 3, but it gives a good idea of what is around that area. So that's why we do that as well. All right. I'm just going to take a few seconds to kind of hone in on Mora. I did have her picture up a second ago, so now I've got her picture in my mind and just see what comes to me. I'm going to put myself down and feel what I feel where Mora is. I'm feeling smoke, ash. I'm seeing smoke. And around me is ashes, ashes. There's um stone, those bigger stones. And something metal, like one of those that you would hang a pot or something on, maybe to cook over a fire, something of that nature. Um, um, I do, there are woods not far from here. There's a house at like three, a white house and woods at nine. Oh. I'm hearing something very disturbing, like she was boiled. <clears throat> smells very outdoorsy. It's cool here. Um, sunny, bright. There's um, a mountainy range a little further off in the distance. Um, more like nine o'clock-ish woods and far back mountains, far back, many miles away. <clears throat> Lots of pine trees. Kind of God's country is what I'm hearing they call it. it smells like pine trees and that real nice crisp forest smell. A long driveway to this house, a long driveway. Pretty rural, lots of uh, pine trees around. This area is just covered in pine trees and it's it's kind of a little hilly, not a lot hilly, but a little hilly. Um, pretty flat in most areas, but there are areas where there's like, it goes down a little. There's rock. Rocky areas, rocky areas. Maybe on the side of the road there can be kind of a rocky area. There's, there's, seeing that being an element here too. I'm 
a man that lives in the house. He might have a beard. I had a beard. Sixty, maybe. Late fifties. Kind of a little heavy, not 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 heavy heavy, but a little heavier set. He's not skinny. He wears overalls sometimes. And a cap. He's a good old country boy. Although I'm in Maine, right? Maine, Massachusetts, wherever that, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. I'm in New Hampshire. I feel like I'm in the South. This man makes me feel Southern. Good old boy mentality. I think he cooks outside a lot. Over a fire pit with big stones around it. Big stone. Yeah, like white stone, different, yeah. Big ones. I think he, he has a kettle that he boils things in. He's got a fire going. He likes being off into the away, the wilderness. He doesn't think anybody's ever going to find him. You'll never find me, is what I hear him saying. You'll never find me. I think he's got a mustache, too, a mustache and a beard. He's not the most, like, you know, shaven, nice, nicely um, groomed. Huh. He seems like a southern boy. So he keeps coming through as somebody who's, like, uh, Pops up his chest and tells a story and um, can be very, uh, um, he, he thinks a little highly of himself and his ways of doing things and he's right, you know, he's very, I feel very Republican, very, um, not that I'm saying anything bad about Republicans, he just comes across as he's got very, uh, you do things like this and you do that and you never do that thing and you know not a very um i'll just say he doesn't seem especially open-minded to me or accepting of other people's viewpoints he would um he, he's kind of a brashly will express himself is the way he comes across he will just uh he'll tell you what he's thinking and he says it with conviction He's very believable, actually. People believe him. He's very believable. He's kind of a, I hate to say it, but I, he comes across as like a, a little bit of a big mouth. <laughs> like he's um, a little too cocksure, a little too proud of himself, a little too proud of his good old boy ways, a little too proud of the way he does things. Uh, his truck, he's proud of his truck. I'm seeing like a American flag or, you know, it just, he's just very, um, very down home, good old boy, Southern mentality, very traditional roots to him. Okay. Um, he is showing me driving, driving, it looks like driving the bus. I'm wondering about Mr. Atwood now, because didn't he drive the bus? I don't know what his personality was like, but all of a sudden I saw the big wheel of a bus. Big wheel. I saw him driving that bus.
just asking um, powers of the universe to come closer. Give me a little more insight into the situation. I feel like there's a dead crow in the snow. I don't know what that means. Dead crow in the snow. I'd have to look up that saying if that's a saying at all. Dead crow in the snow. I'm hearing like, now what am I going to do about this? a star or pent um, pentacle yeah star pentacle that kind of thing the shape of it and I'm getting a Christmas theme for whatever reason like on the top of a Christmas tree or Christmas lights Christmas Christmas Sled, I'm seeing a sled. Something about Christmas here. It's being a big deal, Christmas. Yeah, if he like fancied himself Santa Claus on Christmas or something, there's something about Christmas that's big with this person. All right. Is here again. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Um, he was even a little cocky about how good he was, you know. But you can't catch him. I hate to say it, but I'm hearing things like it's like roasting a pig or just, I don't know, yucky things. I'm hearing yucky things. I'm not getting really detailed details about how this happened. I see a him a lot. I see a lot of him showing me like a pulling something back. Sort of like you what you do with a bow or something. I'm not sure if that's what it is though. Pulling something back. It looks like it has coils. Coils. It's like something that you pull it back and it has little coils here that go around like a spring. Spring loaded. I don't know what this is. He's showing it to me though. It's handheld, he says. Handheld. Okay. I don't see anything else. I do, okay, I do see um, now him walking up on this girl. Laying on the ground, though. She's not moving, so. She looks pretty frozen. Yeah, she looks frozen. 
and hurt, hurt and frozen. There's something about her, her being hurt. She was hurt. Yeah, she was hurt here. Hurt. And now I see him more like dragging, dragging all the way. Her, dragging her away. She's like solid, frozen. Hmm. And I'm seeing him dressed as Santa Claus again. I keep seeing him dressed as Santa Claus. Why is he showing me himself dressed as Santa Claus? See, like the star, the star on the top of the tree, on top of the house, that kind of thing. It keeps coming to me. I'm not sure why. I don't know what it means. Lights around his house, lights. Okay. Well, that's about everything I'm getting. It's, it's odd. It's odd. It's odd. He acknowledges this man that there was involvement. Um, it's a weird thing, though. It's a weird thing. Like he's like not a predator. That's what he keeps like wanting to say. I'm not a predator, but she was prey or I don't know. It's really weird. She was like prey. Anyway, that's what I have for this session. And I'm seeing a candy cane over a door again. Why am I getting all this Christmas stuff? I don't know. But that's what I got.